It was a chilly and wet Saturday afternoon, but that didn't stop residents of Mount Moriah from making their way down to the Millennium Gardens Park. In a truck. PLP candidate for Mount Moriah, Arnold Forbes and the Mount Moriah branch of the PLP held their Christmas in the Park celebration. The girls of Mount Moriah got their hair braided for free. And of course, the men and boys got free haircuts and shaves. While there was no shortage of food, fun, or entertainment for everybody, the real attraction on the park was the toys. Hundreds of residents of Mount Moriah stood in line as Arnold Forbes, his wife, and one of his children, along with members of the Mount Moriah branch, gave out presents. It was fun for everyone. Look at me up. the line back here. Get out. 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 Get out.
checks that I write is no same. The Progressive Liberal Party's leadership also came out to support Mr. Forbes and the folks in Mount Moriah. Hello, hello. The well-organized event and, of course, the behavior of the children in the park didn't go unnoticed. Yeah, they are very orderly and they're manly and they're not bad. Real nice. You know, they make the heart proud to see that the way they're behaving as if the parents are getting a hold of them. As the rain continued to fall from the sky, the residents continued coming out, braving the elements to ensure that everyone had a chance at a free Christmas present, courtesy of Arnold Forbes and his branch. Mr. Forbes had this special message to the people of Mount Moriah. Um, to the constituents of Mount Moriah and the Bahamas at large, Arnold Forbes, the next member of parliament for Mark Moriah, wishes you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and all the best in the New Year. Prosperity, love, peace, happiness, kindness, and compassion. I look forward to us moving ahead in the New Year so that we can be a better Bahamas, a more peaceful Bahamas, a happier Bahamas. Well, this park, when we came to this park, um, three weeks ago, we found this park in a deplorable condition. Um, there was graffiti all over the walls. Um, the bathrooms were in total disrepair. Uh, this gazebo that we're standing on presently was marked full of graffiti, unpainted for years. Um, we had to come in here. We made sure the grass also was very high. We first we cut the grass. We made it livable. Um, we uh, primed and painted all the buildings in this complex. We fixed the gazebo and we fixed the floor in this gazebo and we decorated this entire park. Well, that tells them that this is a man of action. This is a man who is here to make sure that Mount Moriah becomes what it should be. A real, uh, a full community, a community where your representative cares about you. I am a man of action, I'm not a man of talk. I am a man of few words and lots of action. And you will find that <laughs> This is only the beginning. If you look at all the um, vacant lots that are supposed to be parked, you will see that each of them are now cleaned down. Uh, the perimeter wall that faces the spot, the perimeter of this community that faces the spot, and in particular, Millennium Gardens has been cleaned down. I intend to make sure that you are safe in your homes. We have lit this park. We met this park without lights. We have flood lit this park. Um, we, have, we have done so far, just we've just scratched the surface. I want to ensure that this community is the community that it should be. And not only Millennium Gardens, I'm talking about Stapleton Gardens, I'm talking about Yellow Island Gardens, where I grew up as a boy. Um, I would just encourage everyone in this community and in the entire Bahamas, please register to vote. You do not have a voice if you do not register to vote. Let's get registered. If you really care about change, if you really want change, you have to register to vote. That's my cry. Thank you, Mr. Bob, for giving me a nice present.